क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी वन क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ डाइनो फ्लजलेट रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर रेड टाइड डाइनो फ्लजलेट रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर रेड टाइड सो रेड टाइड इज अ पर्टिकुलर फिनोमिन दैट इज फाउंड इन केस ऑफ डाइनो फ्लज दैट्स रेडिश टाइड इज ऑब्जर्व एंड अमोंग द ऑप्शन द ऑप्शन ए इज Anabina, it is a cyanobacteria. It is a non-tied dinoflagellate. Option B is Gonae olex, that is dinoflagellate. So this is the correct answer. Option C is given Mycoplasma. It is a bacteria, so it cannot be the answer. And option D, that is Archaebacteria, that is again also a bacteria, so that cannot be the answer. The correct answer is option B. Next question sixty-two. Ciliates differ from all other protozoans. Okay, so this is a question of protista and ciliates if we talk it belong the example of ciliate is paramecium now the question is how paramecium differ from the other protozoans the given option are option a which says that using pseudopodia for capturing prey now you know that pseudopodia is a characteristic of amoeba or amoeboid protozoans and these are ami Amoeboid protozoan, so it cannot be the answer of ciliate. So this is a incorrect one. Option B is having contractile vacuole for removing excess water. So contractile vacuole is also found in case of the amoeboid protozoan, so it cannot be the answer. Option C is using flagella for locomotion. so flagella become a part of flagellates not ciliates and option d having a two types of nuclei so just we have discussed in previous question uh, before few questions that ciliate is a paramecium and paramecium have a, a two nuclei one macro and one micro nuclei so d became the correct answer next is question number 63 it says that which of the following is not correctly match means we have to identify incorrect match the given option are option a is amoebid protozoan and in front of that the amoeba is written so it is a correct amoeba belongs to amoebid protozoans option b is flagellated protozoan and the example of this given is a trypanosoma Example is given given is a trypanosoma, so that is also a correct statement. Now option C is a sporozoans, and the given example for this is anopheles, and anopheles is a mosquito that is a not a sporozoan, so it become a incorrect match. And option D, ciliated protozoans, and the given example is paramecium, so it is a correct. Now the question is about to identify incorrect match, so C become the correct answer. Question sixty four. Select the incorrect match again. New question for same with respect to the or incorrect match or incorrect statement. Now the given statement are statement A. It is saying that pseudopodia are locomotory and a feeding structure in sporozoans. You know that, and we have just discussed pseudopodia is a characteristic of amoeba or amoeboid protozoans, not sporozoans. Okay, so this statement is incorrect. Next option B. Mushroom belong to Basidiomycetes. Is it correct? Mushroom belong to the Basidiomycetes, which are also known as club fungi. Option C. Cell wall is present in members of fungi and plantae. Obvious, you know that fungal cell wall is made up of chitin and plantar cell wall is made up of cellulose. So this is a correct statement. Option D. Mitochondria are the powerhouse of cell in all kingdom except Monera. Absolutely correct statement because you know that mitochondria is a uh, produce ATP in all type of eukaryotic cell, but not in case of prokaryotic cell because it is a membrane bound organelle and monera do not have a membrane bound organelle. So this is also a correct statement. Now we have to identify incorrect statement and that is a statement A. So A becomes the question sixty five option A. Uh, question sixty five. First, uh, see the question. The slime mold and multicellular algae. 
in question there is this was some correction here they have written multicellular algae multicellular algae cannot belong to the protist so here it, you make a correction unicellular algae are presently included in the kind of protista because why they are included in the protist because option a they appear to be more closely related to unicellular eukaryote so it is a correct obvious they belong to unicellular eukaryote then only they can be placed option b they like important character characteristics of fungi and plant c this kingdom protista exist as a link between the monera and other three kingdoms so and slime mold have some of the fungal and plant characters so they do not like this character so this is an incorrect statement option c kingdom protista includes eukaryotic organism that do not clearly belong in the other three kingdom it is not like that there are some organisms which have some of the plant and monering characteristic as well or fungal characteristic as well and also placed in this one so this is also incorrect statement so correct statement that is option a next is question 66 the highest number of species in the world is represented by it is a fact based question you have to remember that fungus have a highest number of species in the world question number 67 the imperfect fungi which are decomposed of litter and help in mineral cycling belongs to be remember imperfect fungi is a common name for a deuteromycetes and this deuteromycetes is given in option a that become the answer next is question 68 in most of the fungi the food material is stored in the form of so it is a question with respect to fungi in fungi the food is stored in the form of glycosan which is given in option d that is the correct answer question 69 one of the major component of the cell wall of most fungi is you know that the cell wall of fungus is made up of chitin so this option d become the answer now please understand that chitin is a polymer of nag that is n acetyl glucose amine and that is the answer question 70 which of the following would appear as a pioneer organism on bedrock pioneer organism on bedrock now so it means the question is with respect to ecological succession and we know that on bedrock in ecological succession the organism which appear first they are the lichen and lichen is given in option d which is a correct answer question 71 question is after karyogamy followed by meiosis spores are produced exogenously so statement says karyogamy followed by meiosis means it is a question of sexual reproduction now next is spores are produced exogenously so the sexual sexual reproduction so it must be a sexual spore and the sexual spore which is and produced exogenously that are nothing but a basidiospore they are basidiospore and the given option is option a and the option a is about agaricus and you know that agaricus of this have a basidiospore because they belong to the basidium isotis so that become the answer option b alternaria alternaria belong to deutromycetes and deutromycetes cannot have a basidiospore option c neurospora crassa belong to the ascomycetes so it cannot be the answer and option d saccharomyces that is also belong to the ascomycetes so they cannot have basidiospore basidiospore is found in only basidium isotis that is agaricus question 72 choose the incorrect statement we have to select the incorrect statement the given statement are statement a penicillium is a multicellular and produces antibiotic 
it is a correct statement penicillin produces one antibiotic that is known as penicillin and which is obtained from the species the name is penicillin notatum penicillin notatum statement b is neurospora is used in the study of biochemical genetics obvious neurospora is known as a drosophila of plant kingdom because in with respect to plants drosophila is used in many experimental and genetic studies so this is the correct statement option c says that morels and trefils are poisonous mushrooms so you have to focus this morels and truffles are not a poisonous they are edible mushrooms so this is an incorrect statement and option d yeast is unicellular and useful in further obvious yeast carry out fermentation thus is the correct statement so we have to select the incorrect statement so option c become the answer question 73 which one of the following is incorrect for fungi we have to again identify a incorrect statement and that incorrect statement with respect to fungi now the given statement is option a they are eukaryotic correct fungus are eukaryotic statement b all fungi possess purely cellulosic cell wall it is the absolutely incorrect statement because they belong they have a what a chitin in their cell wall option c they are heterotrophic obvious they are heterotrophic they do not carry they cannot perform a photosynthesis and option d they are both unicellular and multicellular yes some of yeast are there which are unicellular and other higher fungus are there which are multicellular so this is the correct statement now incorrect statement is statement b that is all fungi purchase purely cellulosic cell wall because they have chitinous cell wall question 74 virus envelope is known as now the question is about asking about virus envelope now b remember that there are only some viruses we which have a uh, envelope so we first study the structure general structure usually they have genetic material or genetic material viruses having a capsid or capsid some animal viruses have a envelope so this is a genetic material and genetic material can be dna or rna this is capsid and this is envelope so here option given are a option a capsid option b is virion option c is nucleoprotein and option d is core so usually majority a majority uh, viruses the outermost covering is capsid so capsid that is option a become the answer question 75 viruses that infect bacteria multiply and cause their lysis are called so bacteriophages or viruses which kill bacteria by a lysis that carry out a lytic cycle so that phenomena is known as lytic phenomena question 76 